Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to update a non-Steam game on my Steam Deck. So if this is your thing, you like this kind of stuff, emulation, gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck, this is basically all we do. So please consider subscribing and without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, I'm on my Steam Deck desktop mode and on my Steam, I've got this non-Steam game. This is a non-Steam game. Uh, it's running on Proton Experimental and it's No Man's Sky. So let's run it. I think it works. So yeah, let's make sure it works first. So this is, um, I think it's on version 4.4 or something like that. Like it's an Echoes, it has the Echoes update. Yeah, so it's working. All right, it works. So yeah, let's just alternate F4. Let's get out of it. All right, so I've downloaded some updates. Uh, actually, I've got a DLC actually. So let's install the DLC first. So this is a pre-order DLC for 4.40 Echoes. So what are we gonna do? So let's understand the structure of non-Steam games first, okay? So once you create a non-Steam game, it actually creates a folder, a prefix folder where it's like a Windows environment, all your Windows files and all that, it's it's there. So how do I find that folder? Uh, we can go to Proton Tricks, Proton Tricks, and then you just look for your game. When you open Proton Tricks, uh, where's my game? Here it is, No Man's Sky. So 2889. So this number, it's if it's a non-Steam game, it randomly assigns a number to it. So even if you install the same game, uh, every time you remove it and install a new one, same copy, uh, it generates a new number. So, okay, so 28891. So we, what you do, you go to home and then you go to here, the top three three lines here. Make sure that show hidden files is checked. Go to dot steam, steam, steam apps, and then compact data. So here are where your games are stored, your non-steam games and sometimes your steam games. So we locate that number to 881 uh, should be this one 28891 yeah this one all right so this one so this is where our game is located this is the prefix folder it's called a prefix folder you can see there's a drive c so this looks very familiar to if you're familiar with windows this is looks like a windows structure so it's good because it's easy so drive c so my game's installed here gog games no man's sky so this is where my game this is the windows it's a windows game right just it's running on linux so this is the Windows files. So this, this is my game file. So yeah, we need to know this location. Okay. So in here, we're going to put, I think it's a good idea to put the DLC. This. I'm going to copy this exe and I'm going to copy it oh, to my game folder. So paste it here. So this is the DLC. So when I go into my Steam, I'm going to go into its properties. Then I'm going to change the target. So I'm going to change my target to the, the DLC. All right. And and then in the start in, you gotta make sure it, it matches the folder name. So it's not in the binaries, it's in the no man's sky directory. So I'm just gonna delete that. So the target you have to make sure you put the exe. So the target has the exe. The start in this part, you only put the folder that the exe is in. All right, so let's try to run it. Run. Okay, it's not working. Is it because I don't have, I think I need to put those um, quotation marks. All right, let's try. All right, put the quotation marks. See if it works. Now it works. Okay, so select language, okay. You're about to install No Man's Sky pre-order DLC. Yes, I've read and accept the EULA. All right, so there you go. That's how that's how you install the 
the DLC and it's the same with updates. So let's go to an update. So I've downloaded the update. Um, no Man's Sky. Okay, update 4.41. So we need, so I've got two updates. One is, this is 4.43 and this is 4.41. So you need to, you can't directly update to 4.43. I need to update this one first. So same procedure. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to put it in my game directory. The paste, paste one file. Okay. Then I'm going to change it to, I'm going to change it. I'm going to locate it. So this one, 4.41. Make sure we put the quotation marks. Quotation marks. And we don't have to change this because it's in the same directory. So, okay, let's try it out. See if we can update. So I've installed the DLC. Now I'm going to update to 4.41. Okay, so it's a six megabyte update. Update. Okay, so this one didn't even ask me if I accept the EULA, uh, the end user license agreement. All right, so yeah, that's done. Should we keep going? Yeah, okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I know you guys want that. All right, so okay, let's open a new tab. That'll be easier. Okay, tab. All right, so now we've done 4.41. 4.4. This is what? 4.4. Okay, so there's two. This one's a little bit more complicated. So let's just copy it first. It's a bigger file. It's a three gigabyte file. Okay, it's a little bit bigger. All right, just copy it over first. So we've got a, okay, you need to upgrade to 4.42 and then we upgrade to 4.43, I think. Let's see if we can do it directly to 4.43. I don't think so. I think we get an error. So yeah, I'd like to show you guys. So let's try browse. Okay, 4.43. Let's go directly to 4.43. Let's see what happens. Since this is for educational purposes only, let's see what happens. All right, add the quotation marks. Run. Okay. All right, the patch does not support your version. So yeah, so it knows that you, you, you don't have the, the version it requires. So let's do 4.42 first. 4.42. 4.42. Okay, add the quotation marks. Make sure you add the quotation marks. Okay. All right, doesn't work. This patch doesn't support. Why? Did I choose the right file? 4.41. This is 4.41 to 4.42. Oh, this is 4.42. Yeah, I think I've got the right one. Did I? Did I mess up? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, I messed up. Sorry, I messed up. Uh, it should be this one. Four point four one to four point two two. Okay, this one. That's the one. Add the quotation marks. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so this one, yeah, this one's the three gigabyte one. Is it three gigabyte? Yeah, this is, the, it's got a bin file, 3.3. .3. Yeah, that's the one. Easy. Update. I think this is going to take a bit longer. It's a bigger file. But that's okay. We've got the time. So, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments um, what uh, games you're playing or what games, what, what videos you want me to do. Kind of running out of ideas guys might give me some good ideas mods maybe i like to do mods mod videos um yeah and please leave a like subscribe to the channel you know we do a lot of fun stuff here well, i think it's fun i hope you guys think it's fun since you're watching so yeah just wait for it to update this is a big update uh so me i've been playing um Starfield, and then I got, uh, I watched the YouTube video, 
I made a video about it. I, I saw a YouTube video about No Man's Sky. So that's why I wanted to try it out. Yeah, it's pretty good. But uh, it's a really big game. I think they, they, they're both big games. And I'm not sure if I have enough time to go through all of them. I mean, Starfield's already... I've already done like 40-something hours on Starfield. And I feel like I haven't even done halfway. So... And I haven't really touched... Oh, okay, it's done. I haven't even done the... Uh, the Side quest much. All right, exit. So it's only reasonable if we do the 4.43 update as well. So let's go 4.43. 4.43, and then we can start the game again. Okay, 4.43. Ah, uh, yeah, they're so big. And I think No Man's Sky might be bigger, a bigger game. Okay, this is a small one, 72 update. So yeah. We couldn't update this previously, if you remember. So you need to update the versions incrementally. All right, done. So after you've done that, uh, we're gonna set back our game to the to the exe to the game exe. So yeah, make sure you got the quotation marks. Okay, then for the bind. So um, the exe is not inside No Man's Sky. It's inside No Man's Sky folder binaries. So make sure you add that in the start in. Do we have quotation marks here? Yeah, we have the quotation marks. Okay, so yeah, let's run the game. Okay, yeah, so it works. So yeah, get prepared. I'm why I'm showing you this video because um Cyberpunk DLC is coming soon. And you know, if you don't wanna if you don't wanna install the whole game, you've already probably you've already pl you're playing it. You don't wanna like delete it and install a new version of the updated with the updated DLC, you just wanna update it. Yeah, this might be a good way to do it. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.